All right, we have a new Nick Bosa update from ESPN's Adam Schefter. You're watching the San Francisco 49ers report by Chat Sports. I'm Chase Sr. No matter where you are, how you're tuned in, we appreciate the faithful for making today's show a part of your day. So many content options out there, but thanks for being here with us. So ESPN's Adam Schefter with the report on Nick Bosa. He also did an interview on the Pat McAfee show sharing some insight on why this Bosa deal hasn't been signed yet. But first... When Nick Bosa signs his contract extension, I don't care where I am, we're going to be going live for it right here on the San Francisco 49ers Report because this is the standard for the best Niners talk on YouTube. That's why you have to subscribe to the show. Year-round daily coverage of the Niners, and when a Nick Bosa contract extension happens, we're going to bring you the best coverage right here on the 49ers Report. As for the latest on Bosa, entering the final year of his contract, Fifth year option that pays him $17.8 million in 2023. That's already set in stone. That's on the books. He has not reported to training camp just yet as we're about a week and a half into Niners training camp in Santa Clara. And upon signing that deal, Nick Bosa could become the highest paid defensive player in the history of the National Football League. So you can expect a historic deal for Bosa. Maybe the richest in the history of the Niners and maybe the richest for a defensive player ever. Now, a lot of you are probably asking yourselves this question. Bosa hasn't reported to training camp. Is he getting fined? Here's one update among several from Schefter that we have to pass along on the show today. Nick Bosa's $50,000 per day fines for missing training camp are rescindable by the Niners because he is still on his rookie contract. Whereas Zach Martin of the Dallas Cowboys and Chris Jones of the Chiefs are not on rookie contracts and are incurring non-rescindable $50,000 per day fines for missing training camp. So the translation here, Nick Bosa is not getting fined by the Niners for being away from the team because he's on that rookie contract. That's not the only update from Schefter on Bosa. We're only getting started on today's show. If you want to be informed on this situation, this is the show to watch. But first, today's poll question is this. Aaron Donald is currently the richest defensive player in the history of the NFL as he landed the biggest contract ever for, for, for a defender. So who gets the bigger bag? Is Bosa going to overtake Aaron Donald, type NB, or is it going to still be Donald of the Los Angeles Rams, type AD? Let us know in the comment section right now. More from Shefty on Bosa here. This is from an interview on the Pat McAfee show. I remember talking to the Niners during the 2018 season, and they're like, this season's not going the way that we want. We stink. It's not working out. I just wish we sucked more so that we could get Nick Bosa at number one overall. Some revisionist history here. Lo and behold, Kyler Murray goes number one to the dog shit Arizona Cardinals, not Shefty's words, mine, and they get the player that they would have taken number one 100 times out of 100 at number two. And what do the Niners do? They take Nick Bosa, they love Nick Bosa, they're going to sign Nick Bosa. My guess is Nick Bosa is going to be the highest paid defensive player in NFL history. Now let's segue to this. What could the biggest deal in NFL history look like for a defensive player? Of course, there are a lot of quarterbacks who are getting paid big time dollars. Patrick Mahomes, Jalen Hurts, Justin Herbert, Lamar Jackson, those latter three players, the younger ones, all happening this offseason. Here's the current construct of that Aaron Donald deal that Bosa is trying to overtake. Three-year deal that he signed with the Rams. It was worth $95 million in total money. Average annual salary of $31.6 million with the guaranteed money at 95 mil. So that's Aaron Donald's contract that Nick Bosa is looking to unseat as the highest paid deal ever. As for the highest paid edge rushers per year in the NFL, you have Aaron Donald, he's a defensive tackle at 31.6, but this is the going rate for edge rushers out there. TJ Watt, currently the highest average annual value at $28 million, Nick Bosa at 27 even, Miles Garrett at 25, Khalil Mack 23 and a half, 
Max Crosby, 23 and a half. Bradley Chubb, 22. Trey Hendrickson, $21 million. Von Miller at 20 mil. Cam Jordan at 17 and a half. Harold Landry at 17 and a half. Now, there are some good players on that list as well as this list as we take a look at the top six team. Alex Highsmith, $17 million. Shaq Barrett, 17. Chandler Jones, 17. Emmanuel Agba, Uchenna Nuosu, and Hassan Reddick, all ranging between 15 and 16 plus million dollars. So, what's the holdup here, and how much could Bosa get? Because I'll say it right here live on the 49ers report Nick Bosa is better than all of those 16 players who we just talked about. And you saw that the money of what they're making. Here's the holdup, though, for why Bosa has not landed the deal yet. And this is interesting, and I didn't know this prior to Shefty saying it. Nick Bosa's agent is representing Bosa, but he's also representing Joe Burrow. It's the same guy. And Shefty said, my guess is that Bosa gets his contract first. Why this is significant is because Burrow is looking to become arguably the highest paid player at quarterback in the history of the NFL, and Bosa is looking to become the highest paid defender in the NFL. So right now, could you imagine being the agent of Burrow and Bosa, both players looking to get lofty contract extensions that are historic? You can see why this is a situation that is playing itself out. More to come here around the corner, details, stats, and all that, but first, this NFL Jam shirt is awesome. Now, a lot of you know NBA Jam from back in the day. This is a mock-up of that, but with Steve Young and Jerry Rice. And the shirt is on sale right now. If you use our link down below, chatsports.com slash 49ers Jam, you use that link, it'll take you to Fanatics for that deal to apply. We'll put that link in the comments section and in the description of this video. As for my thoughts on this Bosa deal, I would not panic about a deal not getting done. I think it's going to happen. And I think it's going to happen very soon. The holdup, all the money at play, there's not really a rush to get it done. The Niners do have a history of when they've extended some of their homegrown talents, and it's happened each of the last three off seasons. George Kittle in 2020, Fred Warner in 2021, Debo Samuel last year. George Kittle didn't sign until the middle of August. So there's still some wiggle room to get Bosa back with the team. Some people worry about a soft tissue injury. I worry about that too, but I know that Nick Bosa is going to report to Santa Clara in great shape because this dude is an extraordinary athlete. Adam Schefter on the deal. I think the Niners want to get it done. I think Nick Bosa wants to get it done, but I think both sides are practical and logical enough to know it's going to get done. He's going to be with the Niners. If Nick Bosa misses a week, two weeks, three weeks of camp, do you think that that's going to slow him down in the regular season opener? I do not. He's going to be just fine. The two sides will be connected here for a long time, and it won't be an issue. So Schefter has no qualms, no concerns about a contract getting done. Again, though, there's not really a rush to get this deal done. Bosa over the last two years. This is why he has an argument to become the highest paid defender in the history of the NFL. He comes off the torn ACL in 2020, where he only played a couple of games. And in 2021, he was tremendous. 15 and a half sacks, 32 quarterback hits, 21 tackles for loss, four forced fumbles, and 52 tackles. It's hard to duplicate that success, right? Bosa was able to do that. He becomes Defensive Player of the Year last year with 18 and a half sacks and 48 quarterback hits. But some of the analytical pro football focused numbers even more impressive than the numbers that we just showed you. Because Bosa earned a 90.9 overall PFF grade. He was good against the run, obviously better against the pass because that's his forte. Run defense grade of 81.1, pass rush grade of 90.9, 508 pass rush snaps for Nick Bosa last year. He's able to tally 41 hurries according to PFF. Sometimes the databases have different numbers. 30 quarterback hits, 90 total pressures for Bosa to go along with 39 stops. And why I think he's going to get more money than Aaron Donald, better player currently, younger player. And can you make the argument that Bosa could be even better 
as we move forward and progress. So we round out today's show with this. Your best guess as to when a Nick Bosa deal gets done. Give us a specific date down in the comment section, and if you get right, let it be known in a future 49ers Report video. Thanks for watching the show. Make sure you subscribe. It's the 49ers Report by Chat Sports. Thank you.